yeah, well, Adam kicked straight on the weekend, straighter than Embers, so he's got a stronger case. Um, Adam's in good form, really good form, but he, he did have a um, tight quad last weekend, so he's got to get through the week's training to prove he's fit to play, but um, his form warrants now uh, that he can add value to the team this week. You lose a couple of wish, I think, so don't you? Can you declare who you won't have that creates a bit of a gap for some of these? Uh, well, Schofield's ruled out. I think he's the only one that's um, ruled out at this stage. No, no, no. Jack's, uh, Jack was moving really well on Monday. Um, you know, for someone, if he had a had a strain in that hamstring, he certainly wouldn't have been able to run like he did on Monday. And uh, so he's progressed pretty well, trained and did a little bit today, and uh, sounds like he felt pretty good. Just up on Will, did you have to have a chat to him about? dangerous of being out there and all that sort of rubbish. Yeah, I had a chat to him about uh, how dangerous it is. You know, we, we talked in one, on one hand, he was extremely lucky. Uh, that guy could have had a knife. That guy could have, if he had have fallen to the ground, who knows what they would have done. Um, we saw what happened to the young Australian guy in America. Went out for a jog. Uh, there's dangers out there. And, uh, you know, we've had other players. Coxie's been um, attacked like that before. Uh, this wasn't because he was an AFL footballer, this was just a person on the street, um, from what I gather. There was no recognition of him as an AFL footballer. Um, and he had, a, he had a strange feeling that after he walked past this bloke on the road that the bloke had turned and was coming back following them. And you know, at that stage, you wouldn't expect what, what happened. So, yeah, as we talked about, um, extremely unlu unlucky that he was the one but extremely lucky that it, he's come out of it pretty well. What's his recovery coming out, John? Uh, pretty good. He doesn't need any surgery. So the fractures, there's, there's small fractures in his cheekbone that, uh, that aren't displaced. That's normally why they would they have to push him back into place if they're depressed or whatever. So um, they're just healing time, but they're, they're small fractures and they, those bones heal pretty quickly. So I would expect that if we were playing next week, he would be available. Do you feel like you need a strong performance from John? You it's almost like, I don't know whether, I wasn't there when the quote was made, but it talks about it, it makes you doubt yourself when you have a performance like that. Yeah, you, you, it question, you question your own uh, self-belief and yeah, it certainly does. It's, it's happened to me before when we've lost games. It's happened when we lost the 2005 grand final. You know, you have um, some doubts and things like that. So, you know, they, you, you cross those, uh, those tough times and uh, you've got to be, have a clear head and, and move on with it. Um, but uh, yeah, it'd be fair to say that uh, the, the perf last two performances we've been very disappointed with. Yeah, John, you, you talked about a, a drop in confidence after the game last week. How do you address, well, yeah. that? How do you address that in the space of late um, Well, you challenge them to have that self-belief, challenge them to back themselves in. and. Um, you know, on one hand, some of the things they, uh, they try to do in the game we were pleased with. They, they uh, didn't carry out it exactly the way we would have liked, but really we'd only ask them and given them a week's notice to try a couple of things in that game. So uh, the players certainly had a go at it. Um, yeah, back themselves in, believe in each other. That's it. Just go out and play and um, enjoy trying to work together to... This is another opportunity to learn about each other and become better going forward. John, is your depth as good as you thought it was in the, at the start of the season? Um, it's been tested. Yeah, it has been tested. I'm still comfortable. When you talk about depth, you talk about, uh, you know, if, if one of your good players is out, have you got someone adequate to come in and replace them? Um, when you're talking about five, six or seven out, uh, then your team starts to take a hit. With um, Even though those... The guys who replace those guys in different roles still perform pretty well. It changes the whole balance of your team, the whole way that the guys work together, you know, whether it's the back six, one or two key players out of that, really changes the way it can perform. So um, I, I'm still confident that our depth is, uh, is solid. So have some not lived up to their expectation when they've gotten their chance? Um, not really, no. I think they've been OK, but... Um, yeah, Adam Carter playing solely alongside uh, Glass, yeah, Mackenzie, Waters and Hearn 
you'll see a different type of performance than if he's out there alongside Blaine Wilson and Ash Smith and Sammy Butler because those other guys change the whole blend of that back line. That's, that's just the way it is. Um, and even the same in the midfield, Wellingham in our midfield is, is we're going to see a different Wellingham in a midfield with Shuey and Nat Nui also in there as well as Scotty Selwood. So um, the way they perform, um, really I, I'm not going to measure it until I see them in with our team up and going with the best team around them. Have you spent much time thinking that the possibility that this could be your last game as coach of the year? No, I haven't, no. Will you, I mean, there is a chance that it could be, I suppose, and it would be the end of a very long period of time you spent here, and what would that mean to you, I suppose? I've uh, read the play wrong. And in saying that, you've read the play that you're convinced you're coaching next year, so it's still a matter of just a matter of presenting to the board and so on? To well, yeah, and that's, that's not... I wouldn't say just a matter of that. You know, it's a pretty important part of it. The board's uh, what the board e expect or uh, would like to hear and see, uh, and what I deliver need to be pretty close together. Um, or the board may have a different direction. You know, they they may want me to ban any player from ever returning to their family home um, in, in case they get jumped on on the street. And I might say oh, that's not my values, you know, but so there's, there's could be differences in the way we think about things. So the question that might be your last game is not an unfair one, then, is it? I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Even if you do go on next year, are you really looking forward to a bit of a mental break after this game? Um, don't really get much of a break because the uh, our review process will be well underway and uh, decisions around your squad, your list, they're, they're, it becomes probably the next two weeks as mentally draining as ever because you've got to call players in that are that their careers are hinging on what you're going to tell them. So you've got to make some of those calls. Um, retirements make it a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, we've still got to work out whether we're going to promote any rookies onto our senior list, uh, who else doesn't get offered a new contract. John, we've seen three retirements in a week. Is uh, Daniel Kerr, I know he's contracted. You're expecting him to go around again? Yeah, at this stage, yeah. At this stage, he's doing his full rehab with an aim of playing on. And you think he can overcome his problems and give you a good season next year? Well, I know he can give us a good season if he overcomes his problems. I, I can't predict if he can overcome his knee issues and some, some of those problems he's got. So, um, you know, unfortunately, I can't comment on that, but um, yeah, there's no doubt if he's fit, he'll still play good footy. It's fair to say with Daniel, the surgery reveals some things that's good. <coughs> and the, the latest incident in his knee, but it sort of also reveals how fragile his knee is in that it doesn't take much for it to get these issues again. So a pre-season where he's running and, uh, and not falling on his knees a lot, he's probably going to cope with this. When he gets into the real hard stuff, can, he, can his knees hold up? Now, yeah, you would hope so, and um, I'm not sure. I, I mean, I'm no expert on looking inside his knee and saying, nah, as soon as he lands on it again, he's going to chip something else off. But... Um, at this stage, we'd say his knees are good, they've been fixed, and we're moving forward. Early stages, but could you revise how you use him, even for the amount of games he played in the season, or at, at main, maybe main, mainly as a smaller forward, for instance? Um, you revise his well, you, you would assess all that if you thought he was better than other options as a small forward, and if that fits in the team balance um, as much. So, um, yeah, we certainly would consider all those options. This might be a difficult question to ask, given it's a hypothetical, but in hindsight, would you have done anything different this year? Um, hard to answer right now. Um, there's, oh, well, no, there's a couple of things that, uh, that I would probably adjust a bit, but um, there'll be, I'll come across more things as we, as we go through. Can you tell us a couple of things? Yeah, I'd wear the blue shirt more to these press conferences and the white, I think. So they're not big issues in there? <laughs> no. I mean, just give us an you know, insight into what, one or two things you might have done different. Um, well, and it's come from the early part of our review is that just uh, our, how, what balance of our pre-season looks like. So we've got a certain amount of work. How much of that is done on match game plan type stuff versus straight running versus skill work? changing the blend of that. So is that a query on your fitness level? No, nah, no, nah, it's a query on um, 
uh, availability of players. You know, so we've got injuries. Does the makeup of our pre-season, how much collision work we do in December or November, affect how well our bodies cope throughout the whole year? So um, I would say at this stage, this pre-season, we will have a different balance than what we did last year. So more game plan than straight running? No, nah, the other way, probably. <laughs>